sir now up to this we covered what is get what are various properties are there about the get request now let me talk about post request sir are you getting let me talk about post post request what are various properties are there because you already learned about get mostly counterparty is nothing but one post request you can able to understand very easily nothing is there sir first word okay have you observed post can you please post my resume can you please post my profile in the matrimonial site can you please post my application are you getting sir if you want to send information to the server if it is a get i am getting information from the server but if we want to submit information to the server if you want to post information to the server then we should go for what post request right okay sir usually to post information to post information to the server okay we can go for post request next because of our our updation because of our upload i upload my profile automatically in the database the corresponding entries by default will be added i uploaded my job portal in the database corresponding entries by default will be added sir so, usually post request is performing update operation update update or write operation update or write operation at the server make sure sir so post we can use post request to to post information to the server to submit information to the server then we can go for post request post request usually perform update operation or write operation right that's all these two well so how my resume how my profile will send to the server from the browser sir here do you know sir this is my browser assume that it is the browser this one is the server sir okay assume that it is the server how my information will send to the server sir do you know in the request there are three three parts are there in the request sir do you know in the request http request three parts are there first one request line second one request headers headers third one request body are getting right request body whatever end user provided information will be encapsulated in the request body yeah the part of this body request body now end user provided information will reach the server and uh, it is not visible in the url are getting if it is the get request this body will become empty sir because end user provided information will be appended to the url if it is a get request but if it is a post request end user provided information will be encapsulated in the request body and send it to the server is it clear right sir because of this n number of advantages are there what is the first advantage sir sir what is the size of this body there is no limit happily we can send huge amount of information to the server no restrictions no restrictions on on length of body no restrictions on length of body so you can send huge amount of information to the server no problem at all first thing next next one sir sir do you know here it is the encapsulated in the body need not be text data if you want you can send binary data also upload your image upload your pdf file upload your jar file like uh, sir we can send both the uh, both the uh, binary we can send both binary and uh, and uh, text uh, character data binary and uh, text uh, data to the server happily no restrictions right happily we can send binary data and uh, text uh, data character data to the server because we are not going to append yeah the part of query string it will be there in the request body next one sir can you please tell is this body information is it visible outside no it's not visible it's encapsulated in the body that's why 
so it is not visible to the outside world happily we can send okay happily we can send sensitive data security is more are you getting right security is more we can send the sensitive data to the server sir like uh, user names and the password happily we can send no problem at all i hope you people can aware right sir this is one thing what you people should aware about this uh, terminology right sir up to this is the clear right okay now the next uh, things right sir all these uh, things seems to be post request is advantage than get request but for the post there are some small small problems also what is the next uh, thing bookmarking bookmarking of post request is not possible because in the url no information is there that's why bookmarking of the post request is not possible next uh, caching caching a post request is uh, not possible okay remember this one sir because it's always performing which operation update operation on the server that's why caching if it is the read only old data i can able to display but here we have to do some updation that's why caching caching of post request is not even not possible okay like next uh, have you observed either post request is item potent or not suppose i have to transfer 10000 rupees from my account to okay my friend account sir post request because i have to do some updation at server side post request right i i submitted fund transfer initiated submitted 10000 got transferred i thought the maybe not transferred properly or maybe i by mistake i not clicked or by mistake i i click once again automatically another 10000 is going to eh, another 10000 is going to be transferred so the result uh, is a varied if you repeat the request don't expect always same response uh, because some updation operation is happening right that's why post request is uh, not uh, idempotent post request is not idempotent post request is uh, not uh, safe to repeat are you getting post request is not safe to repeat it is not idempotent because if i repeat by mistake side effects will be there at server side sir are you able to understand sir make sure get request is idempotent get request is safe but post request is not idempotent post request is not safe next the bookmarking of the post request is not possible caching of post request is also not possible right okay these are the negative side of post request but biggest advantage of post request is nothing but you know so no restriction on the length of the body you can send binary and text information to the server security is more okay sensitive information happily you can able to send that's all these are various things you people should be aware about post request type right? but here make sure i want to send post request what are various possibilities are there just have a look sir to send a get request how many how many possibilities are there there are multiple possibilities are there sir but to send the, uh, there are multiple possibilities to send get request open address bar type url enter get request click hyperlink get request submitting the form without method attribute get request submitting the form with the method attribute value as get get request i showed already right but to send post request how many possibilities are there only one possibility how many possibilities are only one possibility that possibility is compulsory form should be there compulsory form should be there and compulsory we should use method attribute and the value compulsory should be post set are you getting compulsory okay there should be a form without form you can't send the post request sir there should be a form and a method attribute should be there and the value should be compulsory post that is the only way to send the post request to the server right i hope everyone can able to understand right so what are various properties of the get request what are various properties of post request these are the things what you people should aware sir now if interview person is asking what are various differences between get and a post how you can give left and right to the interview person 
regarding all possible differences you should be in a position to tell okay all possible differences what are various differences right let me summarize all whatever we discussed have you observed almost around 11 differences i provided in the form of tabular form okay 11 year 6 are there and here another 5 is there total 11 differences are there compulsory you people should aware sir now observe now have a look sir what is the first one we can use a get we can use a to get information from the server we can use get request to get information from the server we can use a post request to post information to the server get request for getting information from the server post request is for posting information to the server the names are indicating like that only because of that only they kept the name as get and post otherwise they can kept as durga or youtube are you getting right sir get meaningful names second one usually get requests are read only because because of get request yet server side updation operation won't be performed that's why most of the times get requests are what user read only request next uh, usually post requests are post request perform update operation or write operation at the server make sure you people should aware sir next uh, third one sir end user provided information will be appended to the url yeah the part of query string and sent to the server in the get request how the data will send to the server end user provided data will be appended to the query string to the url at the part of query string and the send to the server but in the case of post request sir the total end user provided information will be encapsulated in the request body and the, that body will at yeah, the part of request it will send to the server end user provided information will be encapsulated in request body and send it to the server clear right next one sir by using get request we can send only character data and we can't send binary data we can send only character data we can't send binary data in the in the in the address bar in the url how you can include binary no chance we can send only ascii characters only right but by using post request we can send both character data and the binary data to the server here you can send any type of data by using post request next one sir by using get request we can send only limited amount of information sir max how many characters you can it is varied from browser to browser there is no sir it's a, so obviously at the end the compulsory limited only but by using post request we can send a huge amount of information to the server because there is no restriction on length of response body clear for all of you okay this is but uh, security is very less because end user provided data is always visible in the form of in the in the url only security is less and we can't send sensitive information to the server are you getting but here security is more because end user information won't be visible it's not visible in the url that's why security is more happily we can send the sensitive information to the server are you getting right okay sir these are post six differences between get and the post now sir the post six clear right now the next sir bookmarking of the get request is possible sir i hope if if you feel that this document is good this movie is good or this ha uh, huh, sir any any anything is good then you can bookmark that url next time by clicking that directly you can open the corresponding page we are not required to search once again right bookmarking of get request is possible but bookmarking of post request is not possible next uh, caching of get request is possible sir what is the meaning of caching of get request sir i covered already caching because if the if the if the request sir response will be saved in the browser's cache sir if it is required okay if the same request is coming instead of sending to the server directly cache at response by default will be displayed for the end user so caching of get request is possible but caching of post request is not possible next get request is idempotent sir if you provide the request one time 10 times 
the response is always same that's why get request is always idempotent but post request is not uh, idempotent because first time if i'm sending okay 10000 will be transferred my account is 80000 next time i'm sending now my account balance will be 70000 only because another 10000 will be transferred that's why sir response uh, is varied from request to request that's why sir it is not idempotent Next, uh, get request is safe to repeat. No problem because any number of times you can send because it's not performing any update operation on the server side. That's why, sir, safe to repeat. No problem at all. But post request is not safe, sir, because of our repetition at server side, there may be a chance of some side effects will come into the picture because every time it is performing what? Update operation, right? That's why at server side, may be a chance of it is not safe. Next, uh, to send get request there are multiple ways are there sir there are multiple ways are there what are various possibilities right sir typing url in the address bar and enter enter automatically is by default considered a get request right sir clicking hyperlink hyperlink if i click it's a get request submit the form without method attribute submit the form with the method attribute with the get value sir sir default method for the HTML form is always get. That's why without the method attribute is always get request. With the method attribute, but value is a get. It is also is get request only. Sir, multiple ways are there to send get request, but to send a post request, only one way is there. Compulsory form must be required. Compulsory form must be required. Submitting the form with the method attribute ah post value, right? Are you able to understand? Sir, this is, these are various differences between get and a post. By mistake, entry person is asking, what are various differences between get and post? You should be in a position to give left and right. Total, how many differences came, sir? 11 differences. Beautiful concept. Sir, compulsory, most repeatedly asked question in the entire room. You people should give aware clearly right here. Are you able to understand? Thank you, sir.